Hello YouTubers, welcome back to Vintage Diecast Restoration. It's Saturday, that means it's time for another mail call. Mac, what do we got? Open cars! Open cars! Up first we got a box from Steven Yoder. Thank you Steven. What do we get? Oh, I can see what that is. That's a box. I love getting boxes. Here, sir. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Here we go. Oh, look at that. It is a box, but what's inside of that box? This is a number 16. This is the... Uh, trailer and I believe this is not only the original box but this is the original model as well. So you gotta be very careful with that one. Yeah. So I have been looking for one of these for a really long time. Um, it seems like every time I find one that is decently priced um, it is missing either the tow hook or the wheels or the ramp or all three. Um, and this one is in absolutely exceptional shape. Um, and it seems like when you find these, usually you can't find the box. And I was really excited when I found this one has the original box. Uh, the box is in exceptional shape. Um, and the trailer is complete and pretty near mint. Um, I did pay up on this. I think I paid about $30 for this, which I, I broke one of my rules. Usually I, uh, I will only pay up to about $10 for a car and 20 if it has the box. Um, I think those are reasonable prices for all of this stuff, but this is a rarer model. This is the older version, the, the Moco Lesney. Um, on the box. Um, these are pretty hard to find, uh, come across. And so this one, I felt like, you know, I'll pay up for it. I, I can see the quality that, that's that's there. Um, super, super nice uh, version of that, copy of that. And very excited to finally add one of these to my collection. Nice up next, this is from Travis Hengem. This is a big box. I think this uh, I think this may have been a Facebook purchase, not an eBay purchase. I don't recall. Okay, so we've got something big in there. I think this is probably a uh, king size. Cut that tape. I've been getting more into the king size. Um, I. I Honestly, the, the first one I got was the uh, the race car hauler because it came with a model of a race car that I really wanted. Um, and so I got it and I was like, hey, you know, these are actually kind of cool. I really have kind of grown to love the king size. Um, I'm gonna do some future videos on the king size models, the ones that I have so far, um, but most of the ones that I have are actually in really great shape. And this is a restoration channel. So I wanted to look for one that maybe wasn't in as great a shape. Um, something that I might be able to do a restoration on. And I think this one might fit the bill. Um, it's mostly complete. We're missing one of the dually tires on the back here. Um, the decals are in place. And these are the original decals. So might be interesting to attempt a reservation, a preservation where I can uh, keep some of those um, in place, and the mechanism still works. It still dumps. Um, so yeah, I, I purchased this in order to see if we can do a king size restoration. So, it moves. It moves. Yes. Yeah. It still dumps. It comes up and it dumps. So, yeah. Excited to get that one. Move. Up next, got a small box. This is from James. I'm gonna butcher that. 
Cernshoff, I think. Thank you. I hope you enjoy your Lesney. Definitely will. All right. So I uh, I talked about this model in one of my previous um, restoration videos. I got the first one as an overpaint, um, and it was an older version. It had the silver plastic wheels. Um, it had the milk bottle on the doors and uh, this decal on the top. And I have sev several copies of the later version, the black plastic wheel with this cow decal um, and this on the top. And when I saw this, I really, I wasn't sure what it was. It seems to be a crossover between the two that I have. Um, this is a silver plastic wheel, as you can see, which would mean it was older, um, except that it has the newer decals, and these are all original decals. Um, and this one is in, I would say, excellent shape. Um, not mint or near mint. We've, we've got some little play work scratches on the top. Of course, the top of the sign band, like always, um, and some of the bumpers, but um, this is sort of that in-between uh, the two models that I already had. It was in really great shape. Um, so super excited to get that one. Um, and I'm, I've got to go look it up. I've got to learn more about it to see where exactly it was or um, if this is something. I didn't, I didn't pay through the nose for this. I didn't pay like it was, you know, a rare piece or an error or anything like that. But just something I didn't have yet. Um, so I'm excited to see where that fits in the, the pantheon of Lesney. So, thank you very much, James. Next. <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> you like the trash truck? I like What's it. What's in here? What's your what is that? A what? A bulldozer. A bulldozer. Yeah. So this is this is one. I have a couple of these models. Um, some have the original tracks. Some don't. This has original intact uh, rubber treads from Lesney. That's the correct green. These aren't reproductions, which is nice. Um, and. Most importantly, it has the cab. So many times, these, these were removable. Um, so many times that I find this model, this is how I find it without this. Um, and I think I've done some 3D printing on a few of uh, the parts for these and kind of gotten into doing some of that on some of the upcoming restorations that I have. And I wanted a copy that had the original um, cab still in place because I wanted to be able to reference it to take measurements from it um, to see if I can come up with a 3D model, something that I can share the SDL files. You all can print this at home if your models are missing a cab. So excited to get this one because I'm going to try to use it uh, to model and create um, a 3D printable cab section. So excited to have that. Last up. I got a box from Recovery Toy. Um, this is one of the manufacturers that makes aftermarket uh, parts for Matchbox Lesney. Um, they, they sell on eBay. They also sell off of their website on Recovery Toy. Um, and they are based in Australia. So for my viewers that are down there uh, in Aussie land, this is probably one of your, your better sources uh, for aftermarket reproduction uh, parts and restoration pieces. Um, for me here in the States, typically these guys are far too expensive for me to be able to purchase from. Uh, they do a little bit better on their eBay listings than on their site. I don't know why the prices are different, um, but it seems like they are. And um, most of their eBay stuff, shipping is free. And as I can see here, uh, this package costs $3 to ship from Australia. Um, so let's see what we got from Recovery Toy. Spare parts. So these are 
a set of doors. These are for the uh, VW Volkswagen. So if you saw in a couple of my earlier videos, um, I have uh, recently acquired a couple, uh, couple sets of these. Um, and one of them I'm gonna do a restoration on. It was missing the doors. So these are the uh, replacement doors that I ordered for that. Um, so we'll see how good those, uh, those castings are, the quality of those castings see how much work we got to do to clean those up um, to make those work on our new restoration. Uh, so excited to get those. Um, the other complaint I have, I'm, I've said this before, but I'm not a patient person. Um, and it usually here in the States, it'll take three weeks to a month for me to get something from uh, Recover. And so, um, you know, if I if I get a piece and I want to start that restoration, this puts me at least a month out. Um, the the one really good thing I will say about Recover Toy is they seem to have stuff that uh, nobody else does. Um, I went to MK, which is my preferred supplier, and MK did not have uh, these VW doors. I looked at um, a couple of the UK suppliers as well. Uh, they also did not have these VW doors. Uh, Recover Toy was the only ones that had them in stock, um, and they didn't even show them in stock on their website. I had to go through eBay to get these. Uh, so, you know, I, I've purchased from most all the different suppliers. These guys are usually not my first choice, um, but in this case, they were my only choice because they had what I was looking for. So, watch for these uh, on a future restoration video. Thanks a bunch for joining us this week. Um, as always, don't forget to click the subscribe button down there at the bottom. If you like this video, uh, tell us that you liked it. And uh, doors. we will see you next week on Vintage Diecast Restoration.